Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Detective Pikachu on Nintendo 3DS. Let's continue on with the next chapter or next case. I hope that you guys are excited for this one because we are pumped up and ready to play. So, let's do this. If you guys didn't already, smash the like button, leave a comment on what the comment question of the day is, which is how do you feel about Pikachu's voice acting, and let me know why. Please do so, you'll be entered into our very awesome giveaway of a copy of the game and one of those gigantic Detective Pikachu amiibo. Loads of information in the description, go check it out. Okay, so here we go. Previous episode, we did the first case where we found out where the APOM went. Now, this episode, we are going to do the next case where we have to find out where the necklace is or what happened to uh, this APOM over here. So, for us to pursue it, uh, oh yes, we read all the stuff. All uh, right, why don't we open up your notes like we did before? Okay, so the next case is going to be called Find the Necklace. Got to do it, right? Okay, so find the necklace, and Pikachu's going to talk to us for a little bit. We'll go from there. This has all happened in a very short amount of time. But fortunately, there have been some traces left behind. Which means we'll need to investigate the scene. Indeed we will. Okay, so this is really fun, because this portion of the game kind of gives you a little bit more of a taste of what's to come. So what should I do to investigate the scene? Look for traces of the incident by investigating the scene where it happened. In other words, this place. Okay, I'll have a go at it. So, here we go, we got some APOM, you're gonna go over there. Just like in real Pokemon games, you move up to something and you press the A button to investigate. Hopefully you find an invisible item, right? So anyway, we got this APOM over here. Uh, it's got a lot of fine scratches. Maybe it was knocked out in a quarrel with someone. Wait, what? There's something under its body. Uh, what about this feather? Great job, Tim. It seems like a clue to the culprit. A black feather, uh-oh. Okay, and what's this over here? Uh, it's a deep red from the ketchup and berry. Mm-hmm, and this is a spicy berry, so it doesn't seem like it would have been the... It would have been holding the berry to eat it. Okay, so we got a red berry. What's this? Leaves? Hmm, they're withered, but they seem like uh, grass that grows around here. Okay, so we got leaves. Even more clues. <laughs> it's a beat-up copy of today's morning paper. Oh, details on the ice down highway incident. It's tough to read because it's ripped. Iced down highway incident. Okay, maybe that's going to be a clue for something that happens in the game a little bit later. I'm excited for that. All right, so I don't think that there's anything else over here that we need to pick up. Oh, oh, what's this? Never mind. It's a soft drink can. Maybe the APOM was drinking it. If anything, it seems like trash. It's empty. Perhaps it rolled here from that garbage can over there. Maybe the trash scattered when it fell over. Well, you know what? <laughs> We're just going to take all these pieces of evidence. Uh, forget about the authorities because it's Detective Pikachu. Okay, seems like we're pretty much done investigating here. Signs of a quarrel, the lost necklace, seems pretty certain the APOM was attacked by someone. But who? Let's look into that first. Do you remember how to investigate? Write down the details of the incident and things you've come to understand in your notebook. Got it. We'll start with the unconscious APOM. All right. First issue at hand is who or what could have attacked the APOM. Whoever did that probably has the necklace, you see? When you investigated the scene, did you happen to find any potential clues to the culprit? All right, the trash. Huh. The trash can nearby is tipped over. It could have fallen over when the APOM was attacked. It's like a berry from that tree over there. So I guess it's possible that APOM was trying to take out its opponent with the berry. Or perhaps there could be some other reason for it. Leaves, huh? I'd like to say you noticed something interesting, but I'm afraid that I can't. Just the leaves by themselves are a weak clue. I love the emotion on Pikachu's face. It's so good. So, what about the black feather? This is just a theory. Maybe Apom was climbing the tree and got attacked by the owner of the black feather. Does the feather call to mind a certain characteristic of the culprit? Yes, no doubt about it. This feather is from a Pokemon. Here's what we should do. Let's go around the park and we'll search for who this feather belongs to, right? That will be the first step in our investigation. And 
when you see Pokemon with feathers, be sure to jot them down. Okay, let's get going. Just make sure you keep up. Okay. Good job, Pikachu. All right, who's the owner of the black feather? We got to find that out, right? Let's look around uh, and see what we can see. So just like in other Pokemon games, you want to make sure that you're constantly pressing the A button on everywhere that you go because you never know what you're going to uncover. So Apom was just in a quarrel by that tree over there. Has it calmed down? Yeah. Oh, good. I was scared, so I didn't want to get too close. Now I can do my job. Yeah, it can be dangerous to be in the middle of a fight. So was Apom fighting with another Pokemon? Did you see anything? Sorry, I don't know. I kept my distance. All right. We're looking for a Pokemon. Do you know whose feather this is? Uh, it seems like it came from a bird Pokemon. That's all I can tell. Can you tell us about the bird Pokemon in the park? There's four kinds. The park is divided into three areas. Each area has a different assortment of bird Pokemon living in it. There are three areas. Uh, this is the fountain area. Go right to find the cafe area. The nature area is on the left. Cool. All right. Uh, what about bird Pokemon in the fountain area? We have P-Dove. Uh, they're, uh, they're in the fountain area. They often play around in the fountain. Okay, cafe area. Talo is in the cafe area. I always see them preening their feathers. What about bird Pokemon in the nature area? That would be Starly and Murkrow. Can you tell me about each of them? Sure. Starly always forms groups of three. That Murkrow is self-indulgent, and it seems to fly about, including going outside the park during the daytime. Okay, great. So we got a little bit of information. Focusing on over here, we got uh, three different areas. Fountain area, nature area, and the cafe area. So let's look around and see what we can find. So I'm going to be uh, constantly pressing the A button in case we uh, come across something. And hey, hey, what do you what do you have here? Ah, uh, Starlies. Three is definitely a crowd. Ha uh ha, -huh, that's funny. Starly. All right, tell me. Hey, got a sec. Do you recognize this feather? Starly. You don't, huh? Actually, someone attacked Apon, the fountain area, and this is the clue to the culprit. Oh, well, we don't think you're suspicious, but can we have one of your feathers? Starly. Great, thanks. Your understanding has helped us out. So we got Starly's feather. That's great. Like, can we have one of your feathers? Sure. Murkrow lives around here, right? Uh, we haven't seen it. Do you know where it has gone? Starly. It's gone looking for shiny things. Oh, so it likes sparkly things, collects them, and takes them to its nest, eh? Starly. Where is its nest? Starly. <laughs> That's the only thing they say is just Starly. Uh, are you perhaps familiar with the Apom? Starly. Okay, so there's an Apom in the area as well. Thanks, we'll try asking it. Okay, that's pretty good. We got some good information there. Do you know anything about Apom? Uh, huh, you almost got your feathers plucked once. I guess those Apom have been making a lot of trouble here, too. Okay, so we now have... Let's see if Pikachu's going to say anything. The this black feather is the one who attacked that Apom. Now, let's identify which Pokemon it was. Okay, so he doesn't say anything about that. But we do have an Apom over here. And there's a little doggy here. Poochiena, right? Yeah, Poochiena, a rowdy whippersnapper. Look at this guy. He's cute. Uh, what's it saying? Uh, don't get in the way when I'm playing, it says. Okay, so it's playing, and I don't think... Oh, Apom, we'd like to speak with you. Ah! Ah, I pulled back. No way, no way we can talk to it like this. Ah, if we can just settle down the Poochiena. Hmm, true. Okay, so that's what we have to do. In order to get to the Apom, we gotta get this little guy out of here. So let's, let's keep on looking. Howdy. Do you know which Pokemon feather this is? It's pitch black, huh? Maybe it's that one's? But there are other black colored ones. I don't know. <laughs> uh, tell me about Starly. Uh, they always form uh, groups of three and fly around this area. They land on branches or on top of the table there. Uh, tell me about the Murkrow. They live in this area, right? Yeah, they seem to fly around during the day, but then they're often gone. I sometimes see them fighting with the Apom. Whoa, that's a big clue right there. Oh, wait, hold on. You can, you can tell me one more thing, right? About the Apom. Uh, look, it's up in that tree over there. It won't come down while Poochiena is there. The Poochiena recently settled in the park, and ever since then, it's been like this. Okay. So, again, we gotta find out. Oh, what is this? It's a Mightyena. Queen of the park. That must be the mama, right? And the Poochiena is probably their babies. 
Hey, Mighty Anna, we want to talk to you for a bit. Mighty, huh? Poochiana is... What is it? Well, even though it's nap time, one Poochiana hasn't come back, so the other one won't sleep, and it's causing Mighty Anna some trouble. Pokemon can have tough lives, too, I guess. Uh, well, if we find it, we'll tell it to come home, so have a chat with us, please. Do you recognize this feather? Hey, we know it's not your fur. <laughs> Where would Poochiana have been likely to have gone? Mighty. Ah, so it's always playing in the flower beds and shrubbery over there. Oh, okay, if we notice a spot where it likely would be, I'll pay close attention to it. Alright, so we gotta look around in shrubs and find the other baby. What's Starly like? Uh, their cry's loud, so Poochiana always follows them around? Huh, seems like a brutal relationship. What's Murkrow like? You, you don't encounter it often, but it seems notable, okay. Alright, well, they don't encounter it often. Let's see around. Oh, Pikachu. First, we gotta do something with Poochiana. Uh, we can, uh, what can we do to settle it down? Uh, get angry at it, persuade it, or find the other one? Let's get angry at it. <laughs> Even if we did scold it, I don't think it would cre uh, care what we said. It seems like a good idea to find the other Poochiana and get them to take a nap. Alright, so Mama Mightyana said that there was uh, a Poochiana in the bushes somewhere. So we're gonna go look around for that. Uh, so that's the whole nature area. We've got a lot of things to follow up with. Which is the, um, the apom in the tree, the other Poochiana that we have to find. Uh, so let's look around in case, uh, Pikachu. Come on now, you can't hold back. You can always talk to me, you know? Even if I'm not sending my signal. Yeah, thanks bud. There we go. And that's what I was talking about a little bit earlier on. I'm like, hey, just keep on pressing A as you're walking. There's nothing that's, uh, bad about doing that. And that's exactly what we did. We found this guy. Whoa. Whoops. Pooch. Uh, Pikachu, that pup. Uh, it's nap time. Mighty Anna has been looking for you. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah, we'll sleep quietly now. Let's go uh, have a look at the pond. So, we just tell him that it's nap time. And he just listens. He's like, alright, well, I, I guess I'm gonna go to bed. Let's go find my brother and yeah, take a little nap. Oh, see? The mama and her two babies. How cute is that? So now we can talk to this monkey. Uh, now the Poochie and a sleeper. I guess uh, you've been freed up. Oh, ho, oh, good for you. All right. Uh, your pal took off with a necklace. Know anything about that? Oh, you've been stuck in this treetop all day, so you don't know about your pal. Okay. We heard that there was some kind of fight. Did something happen with Murkrow? Ah, uh, so when you were playing with your pal a little while ago, you inadvertently climbed the tree that Murkrow lives in. Okay, Murkrow attacked because it said you were intruding on its territory, and since then, the Apom and Murkrow in the park always fight whenever they see each other. Alright, well there we go. That's clues, that's telling us what's going on. The Murkrow's nest. Which tree is Murkrow's nest in? Uh, the thick tree near the pond, huh? Thanks. Okay. That's great. Show the black feather. Hey, do you recognize this feather? What? It's Murkrow's? Really? Hey, Pa. Oh, you guys quarrel all the time, so there's no mistaking it, huh? Alright. So, we've got some proof that this feather indeed belongs to uh, the Murkrow. Okay, let me see your notes. Mm. Oh, that's not too bad at all. <laughs> Cute. So, uh, we can go look in this tree, and this tree is where the Murkrow apparently is, but I still want to explore some more stuff, because we didn't even go to the cafe area yet, so let's just, let's look around and see what we got. So, according to this, the Murkrow, uh, is apparently the owner of said feather, uh, so, I don't know, let's look. Hey, dude, what? I'm kind of busy here. <laughs> it seems that Apom was in a quarrel at a tree near the fountain, did you see anything? I haven't seen anything. We done? I'm busy. This guy, what's he so busy with? About the black feather. Do you recognize this black feather? Hmm. Seems pretty absent-minded. Uh, what are you up to? I'm looking for something. I seem to have dropped my precious pen. Sorry, thank you very much. <laughs> this guy's also looking for something. Alright, so he's got a missing pen. So not only do we have to find a necklace, but we have a brand new quest of finding this dude's pen. Like, who cares, dude? This is a map of the park. Right now we're in the fountain area. To the right is a cafe. To the left is a nature area. Cool. That's right. I hear ya. 
Great, if you get lost, consult the map. No, it's, it's relatively easy. Hey, little guys. P-Dove. P-Dove? Ah. The P-Dove seems like they flew away because you startled them. Sorry about that. That's right, Tim. You let our suspects get away. <laughs> Pikachu, you're just as guilty as I am of that. Sorry, we made them fly away. Uh, they're P-Dove, right? What a cute Pokemon. Yeah, aren't they? I'm glad to see that you appreciate them. There are P-Dove everywhere. Is this your first time seeing one? Yeah, there weren't any in the town that I lived in. Oh, right, you came from far away. Most of the Pokemon in Rhyme City must be, must seem strange to you. Hopefully we can gather the P-Dove again somehow. How about you ask this guy? Hmm? <laughs> we just do this all over again. It seems the Apom was in a quarrel at the tree by the fountain. Have you seen anything? No, sorry, I didn't notice anything. I've been feeding the P-Dove this whole time. Did, do you recognize this feather? Huh, sorry, I don't. Although the back side of P-Dove looks black. Is that right? Thank you. It seems uh, we'll do. Uh, we'll need to examine the tail of the P-Dove somehow. Uh, did you see a necklace? It has a blue decoration on it. No, I haven't seen it. Did you lose it around here? No, it was taken by the APOM in front of the station and we tracked it here. Oh, sounds rough. It's unusual to see APOM in front of the station. Normally, they don't live, uh, leave the park. Uh, they're always in the trees near the pond. Oh, there must have been a reason why they appeared in front of the station. Uh, what should we do to get the P-Dove together again? Well, if I scatter food for them, I think they'll come to me. The P-Dove are used to me. Food? You can get at the cafe in the park. The cafe, huh? Thank you. Let's go get that food. Okay, so we're gonna now learn how to gather the P-Dove. So we gotta get the food in order to get the P-Dove back, and then hopefully we can get a feather and compare it to the one that we have. So here goes Scraggy. Scraggy, hey dude. <laughs> Do you know anything about the necklace? It has a blue decoration on it. Uh, what? You don't remember kicking it or seeing it? Okay. What do you think of Apom? Recently, there have been fewer pranks, but on the other hand, it started to do more mean-spirited ones. But you had your eye on someone, and they may have taken the necklace. Hmm, that's helpful. Thanks. Uh, is that kid your partner? Oh, a ball came flying at Scraggy. Scraggy kicked it, and they became friends. Ever since then, Scraggy's been coaching him. Okay. What are the pedo like? Scrag. Uh, you run into them many times, but they're still aloof, eh? Alright, so Scraggy's not really giving us information, but this kid. Tell me everything about everything. A while ago, it seems that Apom was in a fight at that tree over there. Know anything about that? A fight? I didn't notice anything like that. I've been practicing my passing with Scraggy here for quite a while. Oh, okay, thanks. Have you ever seen a black feather like this? Uh, it's pitch black, huh? I feel like I've seen it somewhere, but I don't know. Have you seen a necklace? It has a blue ornament on it? Nope. Come on, kids. What else? Anything in the trash? <laughs> Come on, it's like Pokemon, right? Check the check every trash can in every room. Tell me you guys did that when you guys played through normal Pokemon games. All right, so we see some rustling bushes over here. I see some trash. Uh, let's tap on Pikachu. Whew, you're heavier than I thought. How rude. That was a big help, thank you. What? <laughs> Struggle. Who is this old man? Yes. Ah, oh, it seems the Apom was in a quarrel near the little uh, near the fountain a little while ago. Would you happen to know anything about that? Oh, was there a fight? I don't know uh, about today, but the Apom have seemed to feel inferior since Mighty Yenna started living in the park. They've really started to cut loose in areas without Mighty Yenna. They play so many pranks that it has led to more and more fights. Do you recognize this black feather? Maybe Talo. Well, hmm, maybe, uh, I feel like maybe I've seen one uh, where the pond is. On the opposite side of the park? I'm not sure. All right, who's in here? Hey, if it isn't Tepig. Tepig? I have something to say. We're looking for a necklace of the blue decoration. Have you seen it? Uh, no, it's not something you can eat. Huh, I guess you haven't seen it. <laughs> What's this pig doing? Do you recognize this feather? No, don't eat it. Don't even taste it. Whew. Uh, we follow through with the key evidence. Uh, it says it feels like it's seen it before, but not sure. What are you doing over here? 
Oh, you were looking for berries. Did you find any? Hmm, you'll give us something you found. Oh, it's a coin, thanks. Where's the coin? Where's the pop-up that says you got a coin? No, we're done with you, Tepig. All right, what else is over here? Hey, that's Taylo, right? All right, preening, it's, preening is its favorite pastime. Cute, I love Taylo. It's a cute bird, I love his eyeballs. <laughs> He's got cute eyes for a bird. Uh, we're looking for the necklace of the blue decoration. Have you seen it? Uh, is that right? Thanks. It says it wouldn't look for stuff on the ground. Sure, it does put on air. All right. Hey, do you think uh, we could have a look at your feathers? What did it say? Uh, it said it doesn't want its pretty feathers to be touched by our dirty hands. Huh, seems pretty severe. I guess it won't show us. What the heck? Dirty hands? Like, what? Can I help you? Yeah, lady. We're looking for a necklace. Have you seen it? A necklace? I have one on myself. Is that what you mean? No, there's a balloon decoration on it. Oh, sorry, I haven't seen it. <laughs> do you recognize his black feather? Maybe Taylo. They must fly around here. I do think black feathers are pretty. Taylo, thank you. All right, lady. What's up? We're looking for a necklace. Have you seen it? Something you lost. I haven't seen any necklaces in this park except for the one she's wearing. Thanks. Do you recognize his black feather? The tailo around here are kind of black, but maybe the tailo feathers are more beautiful. Uh, they're always preening, so there are lots of feathers lying around when they're done. Oh, okay, so they lose them when they're preening. Uh, if somebody fell, I'm not sure they'd all be gone. Uh, well, that's pretty good information. Like, maybe we just have to find one? You. Welcome, would you like to order something? Yeah, let's place an order, well, why not? Uh, time for a break, in that case, order me a coffee too. Oh, you drink coffee? <laughs> yeah, I don't just drink it. I love it. So order me one up. Uh, okay, two coffees, please. Okay, got it. Slurp off two coffees, please. Hey, check that out. The best taste tester. Better not be taste testing my coffee. Oh, nice work. Uh, this is the first time I've uh, seen a Pokemon drink coffee. Hey, Tim, delicious things aren't limited to Pokemon or people. Drinking coffee under a blue sky, isn't it awesome? Of course, I know a better cafe than this one. That was it, we just, we just chatted. All right, Slurpuff, what do you got? Tell me about the necklace. Ah, uh, no, it just smells normal. I guess you haven't seen it, okay, thanks. How about the feather? Oh, you can't tell because my smell is on it. Okay, thanks. How about the coffee? The coffee's good, keep the good work. <laughs> about work? You had a lot of customers, pretty busy. Uh, so it's mostly people here. Well, I guess it's a cafe for people, isn't it? All right, we're just coming up with no clues here. We just have to find feathers. Welcome, would you like to order something? No, tell me uh, about the coffee. The coffee was delish. Pikachu liked it too, I think. Pikachu did? Never mind, I, this is a nice shop. <laughs> you fed coffee to your Pokemon? I'm calling the police. Where is Officer Jenny? Uh, so I heard there's a way to get Pete up some food. Yeah, we have some portions uh, made from stuff like scraps of bread. You can have some if you'd like. Thanks. Okay, so that's great. Remember, we tried to get some food at the cafe, so now we can go back and get uh, that feather. Uh, are there any Pokemon with black feathers in this park? Huh, Murkrow is dark black, as the back side, as is the back side of the Pita. And Taylor's feather are pretty dark too. Okay, so how are we going to find a feather? Oh, 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 no feather there. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, get out of here, fly away. Do I have to wait until he flies in order to get his feather? What are we doing here? Oh, okay, so we just found one right there. All right, great. I'm just like pressing the A button and we found a Taylo feather. Excellent. Maybe now is a good time to get all of the evidence in order? Is it? Okay, maybe. Okay, so we got the bird food. Let's sprinkle the bird food. Let's see what's going on. And uh, maybe we can get another feather. Oh, you got some food. Yeah, here it is. Okay, stand back a ways. There we go, George, Huey, McCoy. <laughs> oh, they're back. Ah, so soothing. I only feel relaxed when I'm playing with P-Dub. They're so cute. George, Huey, McCoy. This guy seems pretty tired. Mm-hmm, let's keep quiet for his sake. Are you Huey? Hey, P-Dub, did you attack Apom or something? Huh, you saw Apom, but don't remember if you attacked it or not. Okay, this guy's a bird brain. Who forgets everything immediately? 
okay, then uh, we'll just take a feather that looks like it's about to come out. <laughs> take that. <laughs> what? Alright, so we got the feather. Case notes. Alright, who's the owner of the black feather? Let's take a look. Oh, is this it? Oh no, not the same. This pit of feather has a lot more gray in it than it does black. Pit of? Uh-oh, we don't know yet. What about you? All right. Okay, so we have one of each of the feathers. None of the feathers are aligning up, so we're deducing that it may be Murkrow's. We haven't found the dude's pen yet, so I have no clue where that is. And what's the point of finding his pen? Investigate the Murkrow's nest. Here we go. Murkrow's nest could be up in this tree. Yeah, and it looks like no one's home. So if we're going to investigate, I'll take a look. Let me know if it comes back. Right, gotcha. <laughs> That's a big boy. The quick time event. I made it. No sweat. any kind of evidence to be found in here. Oh, here we go. Hey, Tim! Found something! Uh-oh. Is that... <laughs> Pikachu! It's Murkrow! Watch out! Huh? <laughs> 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 I totally missed that. <laughs> Look, it's the evidence we need. Aw, oh, man. Murkrow's feather. Can I do that one again? <laughs> yeah, it was worth it. Let's get right to comparing it with our feather. It looks like we were correct. The black feather that we found at the scene definitely came from a Murkrow. Quick, let's do an interrogation. It was Murkrow. Takes a shine to shiny objects. All right, I get it. I'm sorry I entered your nest without asking. Anyway, you fought with Apom, right? Murkrow! 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 You didn't, huh? Tim, why don't you show it what we found? This feather is yours, right? It was lying next to the Apom that fainted. Murkrow! 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 All right, so it was you. I'm assuming you had your eye on the necklace. So, what did you do with it, huh? You lost it during the fight. That's a very lame excuse. And now you're saying it was someone else. But, it seemed like you and Apom were the only ones that were there. You're saying Burmy were in that tree. Uh, well... Guess we'll check that out. Uh-huh. Right, right. If we were to believe uh, what Murkrow said, there were Burmy in a tree near the spot where Apom is lying down. We finally get to Murkrow, and now we're right back where we started. That's not true. We've learned some new facts. We're steadily approaching the necklace. All right. Burmy in a tree. Oh, dude, Pikachu, you landed. You, like, knocked my HP all the way down. Like, what are we doing here? Well, there you go. Awesome. That's cool. 
you can carry over your save data to the full version from the title screen. Where could the necklace have gone? You can find out in the full version. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. What did you think? Detective Pikachu. Uh, of course, we're going to resume our Let's Play once the game comes out on the 23rd in the States. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait for it. So, of course, answer our comment question today. How do you feel about Pikachu voice acting? Let me know why. I think it's amazing. I think it's great. I think that the little dialogue is awesome. I love the graphics that they do. All of his little facial expressions. I can't wait to find out what else happens a little bit later on the game with the full story. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments. Can't wait to read all of your awesome feedback on that. Continue watching our playlist over here. Newest video on the channel there. Recommendations that way. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're updated on the latest and greatest Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo Switch content, and everything Detective Pikachu. Like I said earlier, make sure that you guys are entered into our giveaway. We're giving away a copy of the game, one of the big Detective Pikachu amiibo, and some other stuff. So smash the like button, answer the comment question today, share the video, and click on the links in the description below. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.